We're live from Chevy Chase. Welcome back. It's time for our Couch Convo, and today we are diving into March Madness. The NCAA tournament is underway, and we have friend of the show, Todd Lanner, back with us to give us his predictions. Although, Todd, we don't know if we want to have you back <laughs> because you predicted that UK would lose in the SEC tournament, and they did. Hey, tough matchup. Tough, tough matchup. matchup. Matchups are everything this time of year. Um, teams have kind of figured out the way that others like to play. They watch a lot of film. If you got a matchup problem, it can expose weaknesses. Texas A&M knew what ours were, and they pressed on them. That's right. Well, the more important thing is, is how does the team uh, rebound? from this so it's Cal always says that the SEC tournament doesn't matter and I, I think that gives a bad impression on the fans sometimes he doesn't mean that he doesn't care to win he always wants to win what he's right. saying is we're a team that's not going to be made or break broken by the SEC tournament Smart. we're still looking for hanging a banner right we're not going to get super excited I mean it's, it's a huge accomplishment to win an SEC title but we're as a Kentucky fan base looking for a national title so take that one on the chin learn from it um, and you figure out how to prepare for March because now it's winter go home. <clears throat> Excuse right. me. So they're in Pittsburgh right now. What is the schedule like for the players? It's it's a lot. They're uh, they're up early doing breakfast, getting you know blood flowing. They're going over and doing shoot around at the arena where the games are going to be happening. And then usually there's a practice at a different arena um, mm. scheduled around town. They can use you know high schoolers or high schools or smaller uh, colleges that are around whatever city it is, and they schedule those times for an hour and a half or so. Um, the NCAA actually regulates that, how much time you get. Each team gets the same amount of time so that oh, somebody doesn't get a benefit sense. over another. Um, so a Kentucky doesn't have a benefit as far as practice time or locations over a team like Oakley. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's, uh, it's a very regimented schedule. The yeah. NCAA regulates very well. Um, but lots of, lots of time down. Um, resting, not a lot of body contact stuff in practice, a lot of walkthrough and scripting right now. And I'm sure as a player, everyone has their own mental game that they go through to prepare. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. A lot of people nap. A lot of people don't yeah. like to nap. <laughs> Depends what, you know, you don't want to wake up lethargic. Right. Um, they never let you go too long, but usually after we'll have a, a big breakfast, you get go through a walkthrough at the hotel, and you'll get a little downtime before practice. Okay, so what are your predictions for the Cats tonight? They're playing at 7:10. What do you think? Well, first, I'll lead off by saying it's March Madness. They call it that for a reason. There's always crazy upsets. We've learned that all too well in recent years with the yeah. St. Peter's loss as a two seed. This year, we're a three seed. We got a little bit better of a matchup, as we talked about matchups are such a big deal. We got a better matchup with this team. They don't have a true point guard. They do, however, have some fantastic scores. One kid um, has hit 121 threes. He leads the field, wow. the entire Whoa. field in the tournament. He's had more made three-pointers than anybody else. Wow. Got to watch out for him. Can't give him open looks. And then they have another kid in Trey Townsend who had 38 in the Horizon League title game that won it for them. 18 or 16, I think, straight points. Um, the kid can score. He's got averaging 17, 8, and 3, I think. Wow. Um, he's, a, he's a problem. So yeah. we got to contain him. They're going to go as he goes. If we can contain him, we'll be fine. I think on the other side of the basketball is the biggest question mark for us because they play a very funky matchup zone. Kentucky hasn't seen that a lot this year. We don't practice it. And so we don't see it in practice either. Mm. So it's kind of a different look. We're going to have to learn how to take advantage of that. There's always holes in a zone. we got to find them. All right. Well, how do you feel about our journey? I like us. I said before last week with, on the show with you guys that it's a Final Four team. I still think they're capable of doing that. We got a great draw. We haven't been able to say that as a Kentucky fan base in quite a while. We always have something to complain about. This is a great draw. I think the Houston team is a little bit hyped up more than I believe that they're capable of winning. Um, so I like us as far as who, wh which one seed we got. We got a pretty comfortable route to get there. Not a ton of matchup problems, but I will say UConn, they're coming back to try to go back to back, and uh, they're better than they were last year. So okay. if we get to that point, it's going to be a war. You think we can do it? I think okay. We can. Well, let's ask the Magic Eight Ball because we all let's know this is the real test here. Yes. Magic Eight ask. Ball says, cannot predict now. Okay, oh, so we'll have to you rely have back. on you. What did I say right before you started rolling? <laughs> you did. One yeah. game at a time. One game at a time. <laughs> Magic and tell Ball everybody agrees. how they can uh, find you tonight. We're yeah, gonna so be we're going to be doing game. ESPN College Game Day pregame show from Lex Live, live from Lex Live right across from Rep Arena. Um, so listen on 1300 AM and 92.5. Okay. Well, let's call it now. You need to come back next week because we're going to win. I'd love to. That's right. right. Do, do it. Do it. Through, uh, Go Cats, Todd. Thanks, Todd. All right. And all of the information for Todd Lanter and his show Fully Unscripted is up on the screen.